Amazing new time zone and reality, everyone. My name is Vel here at Science Hawaii, and today I'm bringing to you another 4D vision anatomy set from 4D Master or Fame Master. This time it is the human brain. So while I am assembling this, I'm going to read all the information that is in the little pamphlet that came with it. Of course, before we get started, there are 32 pieces with the stand, and as usual, you can time yourself and see how fast you assemble this in. Beginner, it says is 30 minutes. Average is 23 minutes. And advanced is 15 minutes. Because I was having a problem with something, which we will touch on later, it took me around 43 minutes, if not a little less. Anyway, let's get started. So 4D human anatomy introduction. Human anatomy is the branch of biology in human structure. The human body is so intricate that the study of it should be both scientific and fascinating. Even after years of patient medical researches, there is only a small number of professional human anatomists who can be called the master, masters of all its details. The Human Anatomy 4D Puzzle series has been designed, developed, and produced in such a way to serve a fourfold purpose. One, providing customers basic but precise knowledge of amazing human organ structures. Two, igniting customers in exploring a wider and deeper scope of this profound study. Three, combination of puzzle toys with highly detailed miniature medical models to serve educational purposes in a challenging and fun way. Fun way, excuse me. Four, inspiring the curiosity and appreciation of our creator in heaven. So next, the human brain. Jointly with the spinal cord, like other vertebrates, our brain makes up the central nervous system, or CNS. Weighing less than 1.5 kilograms, or 3.3 pounds, our brain serves as the commander-in-chief of our conscious, consciousness, emotions, memory, logic, movements, thought, language, and creativity. The human brain consists of more than 10 billion neurons and glial cells. It can also be said as glial cells. It directly controls our voluntary behavior, such as eating and walking, by means of electrochemical impulses which are created from the interlacing of nerve, fi nerve fibers and their junctions. Our brain restlessly generates electrochemical activities even during sleep by means of feedback circuitry. In this way, the brain monitors most involuntary behaviors which are essential to maintaining our life, such as blood pressure, breathing, heartbeat, blood fluid balance, and other functions as well. So now we have the different parts of the brain. First, we have the frontal lobe. It is the front area of each cerebral hemisphere and responds for planning, problem solving, emotions, and also parts of speech and movement. Next, we have the parietal lobe. It is located behind the central sulcus, responsible for perception of touch, pressure, temperature, and pain. Next, we have the cerebellum. It is located at the back and near the brainstem. It is mainly responsible for monitor movements, motor movements, excuse me, also partially for learning, emotions, speaking, and attention. Next, we have the corpus striatum. The group of structures, which are also called the stripped body, located in the depths of each cerebral hemisphere. Next, we have the ventricles. These are hollow chambers filled with cerebrospinal fluid supporting the upper tissues of the brain. Next, we have the temporal lobe. It is the lower part of the cerebrum in charge of hearing and memory. Next, we have the occipital lobe. It is the rear part of the cerebrum responsible for vision. Next, we have the corpus callosum. It is a thick band of millions of nerve fibers located deeply in the center of the brain. Next up, we have insula. A pair of left and right insula, which is located deeply in the brain, is known as important for the recognition of disgust. And last for the parts, we have the brainstem. It is the lower extension of the brain and connects to the spinal cord. It is mainly responsible for breathing, digestion, heart rate, and blood pressure control. Lastly, we have the Q&A section. Question. Which land and sea animals have the largest brain? The elephant has the largest brain of all land animals. The weight of an adult elephant's brain is about 4 to 5.5 kilograms or 9 to 12 pounds. 
the sperm whale has the largest brain of all. Its brain is about 7 kilograms or 15 pounds. Question. Any replacements or regeneration of our brain cells in any case of damage? The brain cells are not the same as other cells and body parts. Normally, it has no cell division process after development period. So there is no regeneration, and they do have a limited, li limited life cycle. But fortunately, we have about 60 billion brain cells, and not all of them are really active and working. That is why some people still can work normally, even after serious injury in their brain. Question. Is brain size or weight really the only factor that affects mental ability? No, not exactly. If yes, then elephant should be much smarter than us. Its brain size is four times of a human being one. Question. How much energy is needed to run a human brain a day? An adult brain takes about 20 watts of energy a day. Even its size is less than 2% of our body weight. The energy it takes is almost 20% of the body's energy in a day. However, newborns' brains consume about 60% of energy that the, ba that the baby takes in. Question. Why does our brain have so many wrinkles? As our skulls have limited room for as our skulls have limited room space for brain development, the folded cerebrum is the only way to increase the surface area for more brain cells. Comparing with other animals, you will find no more or less fold in their brains. All right, and that is all the information in the instruction manual. I know this takes a long time to read, but I do love reading these just to share the information because I think this is really fascinating. I never would have put it in the way of our brains are wrinkly. You know, I did know we have all these indents and things like that, but I wouldn't have said our brain is wrinkly. That's kind of interesting. How many of you out there thought our brains were wrinkly? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. So now when it comes to the assembly, remember how I said there was one part I was struggling with? So there is this one part that doesn't attach to anything. It doesn't connect to anything. You're just supposed to lay it inside the brain and put the brain together in a way. And I couldn't figure out, figure out which direction it was supposed to be facing, if it was upside down or not, if I was even putting it in the right place and making sure it stayed there. I had such a hard time. Of course, the instructions do tell you which way it's supposed to face, but it's not a step-by-step -step instructions. It's just a, hey, this is the general guide. So I had quite a hard time trying to figure that out. I did finally get it to work, but oh my gosh, that was the hardest part. And that's when you're trying to put the brain together at the end. So once you get that part done, that's it. The brain is complete. You can you can admire it now. You're, you're done. You did it. Congrats. Despite that, though, this was fun, and I learned a lot from reading this information. And of course, I have another one to add to my collection. So let me know in the comments below which 4D vision anatomy kit I should get next. Should it be another dinosaur one? Maybe another human anatomy one? Or maybe a 4D puzzle one? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what's in demand at the moment. Of course, I do plan to get most of them, but seeing what's next would be quite interesting. Also, let me know how are you enjoying the format of these. I know the format has changed from the very first one I did to, to the ones I'm doing now. So let me know, is this better? Reading the information over the video of me assembling it. Did you like it better when I took just time to read it and then assembly separate? Or is there something else I should try? Let me know. I'm just kind of experimenting with it right now. So far, I'm loving the top down view and reading the information over the assembly work. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.